Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here, and today I want to talk to you about Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team and specifically how Games Workshop messed up and actually created a competent game and why that doesn't really work for their business model. You might have noticed that there isn't actually a huge amount of crossover between Warhammer 40,000 players and Kill Team players. Or at least if there is, it's the silent majority and certainly not the vocal minority. Now, I would in this case say that the vocal minority are those people online, Reddit, Facebook, Discords, etc. Whereas the quiet ones are the ones that are just content to play their games and they don't really feel this burning desire to interact with communities. They just go out, they buy, they play. That's is probably the wild majority. But I just want to quickly explore why a lot of people online seem either very against 40k or very against kill team and both of these people tend to either be 40k players saying they don't like kill team and that it's an incompetent game or kill team players saying they don't like 40k and it's an incompetent game why is that well of course i'm going to tell you exactly why or at least i'm going to spout some random truths that may or may not be based in fact and purely my own opinion but first i'd like to say that if you're a subscriber to my channel i'd like to give you a big double hello wow Chef's kiss of wholesomeness there. If you want yourself a double hello in the near future, like, subscribe, leave a comment right now. In the next video, that could be yours. And hey, whilst you're commenting, if you like what you're seeing, consider checking me out on Patreon. If you like more Kill Team content, then my Kill Team podcast, Vantage Point, is also an actual real podcast now on most available things. Links in description, all that good stuff. Also, check out my Discord, which is about to become quite the of tournament hub if you want to know where events are happening, but that's still in the works. If you are a regular to my content, you have probably heard me talk about this notion that 70% of people that buy Warhammer products do not play the game of Warhammer. This stems from a questionnaire that was asked in 2017, and GW released some of the findings within it to the community, and that was one of their statistics. 70% of people do not play Games Workshop games. Now, who knows what these people truly are? I assume that most of them are hobbyists, collectors, parents of the kids that actually want to play it, perhaps, which is quite likely a large majority. But also, and I'm going to throw this one out there, and I want you to remove any negative context of this term, because I think that this is a valid thing to call them, and I, I use it with no ill will. Keyboard warriors. Now, okay, you know what? That's too, that's too volatile. Theory crafters. Let's call them theory crafters. These are the people that like to think about Warhammer. Playing the game is very much secondary to them because when you are looking at Warhammer 40,000, you don't necessarily need to play the game to derive enjoyment from it. And I would even argue that Warhammer 40,000 is rather genuinely a bad game mechanically. Like, I'm just going to throw it out there. We don't need to dwell. We can move past that. Uh, feel free to downvote if you want. You can't see the downvotes on this video anymore, so do, do as you must. And whilst, yes, it is rather unquestionably a bad game mechanically, that doesn't mean it is a bad game to play, or it is, in fact, a bad game. And we then go ahead and look at a game like Kill Team, which is objectively uses better game mechanics, and therefore one could argue is a better game. Although, again, I stipulate mechanically that doesn't necessarily mean it is a good game and just because something is better than a bad game doesn't mean it's a good game you know there's a lot of caveats involved there but how can someone that plays warhammer 40k therefore say a game that is objectively better is not better and in fact is an incompetent game let's talk about that my that pre-ramble to get to this topic my gosh kill team is a game that has to be played to be enjoyed and, in my opinion, to truly think about critically, because a lot of the interactions are skill-based, far more so, I would argue, than 40k. Now, of course, I am saying this as someone that doesn't play much 40k, but considering that most people into Warhammer 40k don't play 40k, I am just as valid, in my opinion isn't that harsh towards people that actually play 40k. What a shame. Oh well, moving on. Kill Team, for all of its pros, has many cons, and one of those is the fact that there's not much to think about. That's a big issue. 
you know, it, it is actually, in my opinion, very difficult to think about the game and to really think about anything in it. Yes, you have a little bit of, okay, which of the specialists do I want against which matchup? When would I use attack ploy? When am I taking equipment? And that's great, and you can you can while away a few hours on that. Certainly, I seem to have made a channel mainly thinking about that. When you compare that to the vastness of Warhammer 40k, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. And so, again, we come to this odd notion that mechanically, Kill Team is better, but theoretically, there's not really much to think about. Ironically, I'd kind of liken it to chess and drafts. People think a lot about chess and much less about drafts, which is amusing because 40k players often use the, hey, if you want a balanced game, go and play chess. But in this example, they are the chess. Weird. And the reason I'm thinking about this is because when it comes to kill team, when it comes to everybody talking online about this team is overpowered, this team is broken, etc. How can that be said when the game has to be played? And it's very intuitive, of course. The reason this is said is because if you have a top player taking a top team, they will do the best. But why didn't Pathfinders win LVO? Why do we still have Pathfinder players placing in the bottom half of tournaments? What's going on there? How can that be possible when everything you hear online says that Pathfinders are broken and are breaking the game? How can they not win a tournament and still have some players placing in the bottom half of tournaments? Minor aside, welcome to Chris Fortier, my new $10 patron you just joined whilst I was recording this video. Let's keep going though. The simple answer in this case is that theory crafting, which is the, what the 40k players love, doesn't help you as much in Kill Team. You need to play the game and Kill Team is a far more skill based game. If you are a good player and you want to prove you are a good player, I genuinely believe that Kill Team is the place to be significantly more than 40k. But if you just like the theory crafting side and you want to specialize in list building and the theory crafting side of strategy and different matchups and all of that and when to use stratagems and relic and character builds 40k is an amazing game for that because it's so vast it's really good a kill team simply does not have that and when it comes to 40k the way that is balanced it is a lot more built into the data sheet obviously the strategies are huge stratagems are huge obviously i'm not saying they're not they don't have an effect but the inherent strength of something is built into the data sheet. If something is durable, it's there in the data sheet. In Kill Team, that is not always the case because you have the ability to be hidden and for your durability to be based in your skill in reading the game. All I'm saying is that if I played Pathfinders as a mediocre player and I went into one of the top players in my area, you know, the Ryans, the Marks, the Can You Roll Crits, all of them, they would wipe the floor with me regardless of the team that I'm playing. And so I would genuinely implore you, do not ostracize people for the teams that they are playing. Applaud them for their skill, but then get better because Pathfinders, guys, I make videos that I want people to click. I am going to call something broken and it breaks the game because that's what people want to click on. If you've made it this far, you're clearly a man of culture. And because of that, I would say look beyond the title. Kill Team is a skill-based game. Pathfinders can be beaten, even in the hands of a player that is not a complete noob, even a mediocre player, you know, av av average tournament results can be beaten when they're running Pathfinders. And of course, as we saw at LVO, Pathfinders are not always an auto win because guys, Kill Team is so heavily based around terrain. Do you have a dense board? Do you have an LVO style board? Do you have a light terrain board? Are you straight up on planet bowling ball? In a very genuine way, terrain density affects the game outcome more than the team you're using. And so while Pathfinders on Planet Bowling Ball are an auto win almost regardless of player skill, Tau Pathfinders played in the super dense, almost Necromunda level of terrain that they were using over in Poland in, a few weeks ago, I don't know how they win any games because that's an incredibly dense board. 
Neither one is necessarily the right or wrong way to be played. I'm going to do another terrain video at some point. It is simply a different meta that you're playing in, and it is based around terrain and player skill, not always about the team that is being played. Guys, I've completely lost track of my point, so I'm going to end the video here. If you have enjoyed listening to this, uh, thank you. I don't know what this even was. I just had to do a video. Check out my podcast, Vantage Point. It's now on, you know, Apple, Google, Anchor, Spotify, all that stuff. Check out my Patreon. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. Check out my Discord, where I'm hoping to start cataloging upcoming Kill Team tournaments in a way that is easier to search than BCP. And uh, also uh, watch more of a, my YouTube videos. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That, that's actually what I care about more than anything else I just said. So, Oh, and uh, check out my alternative channel, Tilt Tactics Tabletop, uh, where I'm mainly going to be talking about 40k, but also some Necromunda, some Age of Sigma. I don't really know what the channel is yet. I'm going to do stuff about it with it, probably. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. The wholesomeness never ceases in the land of glass. I hope you've had a good day. Continue to have a good day. Goodbye.